Today I'm going to show you the new GitHub features in VS Code. Welcome to DevWorld, my name is Sam. VS Code has implemented some new GitHub features in its code editor and we're going to check them out today because it makes things way, way easier. So you might have seen if you have VS Code that we have this new symbol down here, Accounts. And if you go now here, we can see we're not signed in yet. But what we can do now with the new feature is we can connect our GitHub account directly to VS Code. So let's start with that. Let's go first to our GitHub account and sign in. So this is my test account I have for my tutorials. You can see the repositories here. And now that we have signed in, we can use VS Code with GitHub even easier. So for example, we have a project here. Of course, this is just an example project and we can go here to Git control and we can now directly publish to GitHub. So we're still not signed in here, but we can go here and then the extension GitHub wants us to sign in. And because we're already signed in on Chrome, we can click allow and then this window pops up and now we are successfully logged in. We can open Visual Studio Code, open here and now we can see we are logged in. So now we can publish to GitHub. So we click here or it's already open and we can publish this repository to a private repository or a public repository. So let's click here on public. And now it will ask us which files we want to upload. All are selected by default and if we don't click anything, all the files will be uploaded to GitHub. But let's say if we don't want main.js uploaded, we can click here, click OK. And we can now see it's publishing to GitHub. And now if we open up in GitHub, we can see our repo. And what happened to the main.js file? Let's go here to our project and we can see our git ignore file has been created automatically with main.js inside. So that means that main.js will be ignored by GitHub. If we didn't check any boxes, the git ignore file wouldn't have been created. So that's amazing. It's now even easier to publish your repo to GitHub. And we can also see in our folder here that a git folder has been created as well. But that's not the only change that we have. We can also clone projects from GitHub way easier to our local machine. So let's go to a new window and close that up. And if you go now to source control, we can clone a repository here directly from GitHub. So if you click here, because we are logged in, it will load all of our GitHub repos. So let's download this one, put it in the documents folder and now open the repo. And we can see the repository has been cloned from GitHub directly without us having to go to GitHub itself. We can now do it just in Visual Studio Code. And again, if you go to the folder in Firebase, we can see that a Git folder has been initialized as well, which is great. So we don't have to worry about that. And if we now do some changes, We can easily push them to our Git and GitHub repository. And that's already it. These were the two main functions I use with the new GitHub integration in Visual Studio Code, which is amazing. It really saves quite a bit of time. If you want to find out more how Visual Studio Code works with GitHub, I have a playlist in the link in the description down below. As always, I hope this video helped and I hope to see you in a new video.